Right, so 396 divided by 6, so I'm looking for groups of 3 in the number 396. And I'm going to start in my hundreds column, so I have in my hundreds column three hundreds, and I'm looking for a group of 6. So as we can see, there are none there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those and regroup them into the tens column. I don't have much space in my tens column, so what I'm actually going to do is do it over here and look for the groups over there. So I'm going to regroup um, three hundreds, so that's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. And if I was to do that up here, I would actually just cross out that three and move it across. I've now got 39 tens in my tens column. So I'm now looking for groups of six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six in a group there. So that's one group. I've then got one, two, three, four, five. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got a group of six. Each of these is actually a group of six. I've written the, drawn them out to an array so it helps with that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six groups. And I can see I've actually got one, two, three down here that are remaining. So those would be regrouped across. And again, I would be putting, um, converting these. So I'm actually going to go do that. Regroup those to here, but I'm going to actually calculate it up here so that I've got space to draw those out. So I now need to count out my 10. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And I'm now looking for groups of 6 within 36. So there's one group there, 2, three, four, five, six. So that's six. So that tells me that 396 divided by six equals 66.